Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Chow Vin Sung. Welcome to the Healthy Eyes, Healthy Life series. In this video, let's learn more about the tests which are commonly performed when you visit an eye clinic. First, we will perform the Visual Acuity Test. This assesses the sharpness and clarity of your vision. Letters or numbers on a chart are projected at a fixed distance away. Each eye is tested individually for the ability to see letters of various sizes. The smallest line of letters that you can see will give an indication of how good your vision is. You may also require the refraction test. Lenses are placed in front of your eye to improve your vision. The power of the lens which is able to achieve the best vision is recorded. To help you see more clearly, you can make a new pair of spectacles with this lens power. The tonometry test measures the pressure in your eye. There are many ways to perform tonometry, and Goldman Applination Tonometry is generally considered the most accurate. The higher the eye pressure, the higher the risk of developing glaucoma. To find out more about glaucoma and the treatment options, please watch these videos. Your eye doctor will also examine the front of your eyes at the slit lamp, looking out for conditions such as cataracts. You can find out more about cataracts and cataract surgery from these videos. To examine the back of your eye, eye drops to dilate your pupil may be required. It usually takes about 20 to 30 minutes for the pupils to dilate. A lens will help your eye doctor to view your eye nerve and retina which is the light-sensitive tissue at the back of your eye. Your vision will be blurred for four to six hours after pupil dilation, so it is not advisable to drive during this time. If you require cataract surgery, your eye doctor will conduct an additional test called biometry to measure the length and dimensions of your eye. This will allow us to select the correct power of artificial intraocular lens, which will replace the cloudy natural lens during cataract surgery. Please inform your eye doctor if you have had previous refractive surgery, such as LASIK, as this can affect your eye measurements. If you wear contact lenses, you would need to stop wearing them for at least two weeks before biometry is performed to allow us to obtain accurate measurements. For most eyes, an infrared laser is used to perform biometry. It is important to look at the target in the machine during this test so that precise measurements of your eye can be obtained. However, if the cataract is very severe, it may not be possible to use the infrared laser to perform biometry and ultrasound will be used instead. Ultrasound biometry is less accurate and there is a higher chance that spectacles are required after cataract surgery. I hope that you enjoyed this video about common eye tests. Please subscribe to our channel to learn more about other types of eye tests and also about important eye conditions. Till then, I wish you healthy eyes and a healthy life.